welcome back to my channel. We're going into our first month of winter here in the southern hemisphere, so with temperatures dropping, I thought I'll go through some of the scarves in my collection and the different ways to wear them. Starting with this Louis Comfort Tiffany scarf. I don't have many colourful scarves and this one from the Metropolitan Museum of Art really stood out to me. 100% silk crepe de chine, feels light and drapes comfortably. I prefer longer scarves in this material than pure silk square ones to wrap around my neck. The vibrant floral print is from 1900 stained glass lampshades, originally produced by Tiffany Studios. Here I just add a knot and hide it slightly behind the loop. There's a beautiful collection of this in the Met store and mine is in the Cyclamen print. In case you're wondering, Louis Comfort Tiffany was known for his stained glass art and he was the son of Charles Louis Tiffany founder of Tiffany & Company. To add volume to a soft scarf, you can tie a bow and wear it either in the front or slightly to the side. If you're a fan of classic films and road trips, I'm sure you'll relate this next look to long drives by the beach and a long silk crepe de chine scarf like this helps keep your hair tidy from the wind without adding bulk. I'm not a fan of square scarves so much unless they are large and this monogram shawl by Louis Vuitton is an exception. There are many ways to wear this but my favourite style is like a bib which is similar to how they show the shawl on their website. Start by folding the shawl in half and you'll get a triangle. Then because this shawl has so much fabric, I fold it down a little and it doesn't have to be even folds. Turn the folds facing the body and go around the neck. tie the ends in front, hiding them under the bib. The idea is to create volume so the shawl doesn't sit too perfectly flat around the neck. I like that the monogram print becomes the focus point and keeps me warm at the same time. Made out of 60% silk and 40% wool, it's perfect to be worn simply as a shawl. On to a silk and cashmere blend. This scarf is one of my favourites and you can probably tell why. The beautiful script is from the Tiffany & Co's Notes collection and I actually got this one before I became a calligrapher so I'm loving it even more as the years go by. 
This scarf is on the lighter side but still warm with a mix of cashmere in it. The length allows for a double looped tie. I start with looping once over. Then looping one of the ends through again. Position the folds to create a nice shape. On warmer days, long and wide scarves also make a great addition to your top, worn with a belt to cinch in at the waist. A unisex scarf like this multi-way piece from Muji is great. With buttons running down the sides, you can easily change up how you wear this. When all buttons are done, it serves as a simple scarf for every day. Also be worn as long sleeves to keep arms warm, converted into a cropped cardigan. Cotton and silk scarves are light and perfect for spring days. I love the colours on this one from COS, and being a thinner material, it goes on nicely as an infinity scarf. Start by knotting the ends, and simply twist and loop it over your head with the knotted ends tucked behind. For a little bit of drama. I like having one statement piece that is versatile and can be dressed up or down. This beautiful piece from Melbourne fashion label Alpha 60 was love at first sight for me. The permanently pleated design does the job itself so all I do is twist it a few times over and wrap around to complete my look. I've had this scarf many years now and it will stay in my collection for many more. Getting it in classic black lets me add texturally interesting drapes and volume to a plain top. On very wintry days, this cost scarf is my go-to. Again in classic black with a few little speckles on the fabric, I wear this the most because it keeps me really warm. This one's a simple wrap around the neck and pulling the two ends up the loop to fall in front. A couple of winters ago, I added the Uniqlo two-way stole to my collection. This feels like the comforts of having a blanket around your body. The material may look heavy, but it's actually light enough to be worn all year round as a wrap or shawl. When choosing scarves, always take note of the fabric composition as you may have certain allergies to polyester or acrylic that can cause skin irritation. So while some scarves can look really pretty, always check to ensure your neck doesn't break out in a rash or terrible itch. I like having my scarves loosely wrapped around my neck and we all have different preferences. So this adjustable knot comes in handy when you like to wear it a little tighter or looser. Simply knot one end of your scarf, then insert the other end through the loop. Now the scarf is adjustable like a necktie. I 
I think every scarf collection is complete with tartan. This one is the Austin Modern from Lochcaron of Scotland that I picked up when we visited Dunedin. I love a simple drape with this to not take away from the beautiful tartan print. Sometimes I'll go once around my neck and insert one end under the loop and other end of the scarf. I hope you all enjoyed seeing some of the scarves in my collection and how I wear them. Thank you all so much for watching and take care everyone.